camera's getting foggy. It's very humid out today. We just got some rain last night. And, um, yeah. Uh, I just realized there's a crap load of little flower buds here. Whew. And the flower buds tend to, um, make me slide even though I'm wearing boots. But anyways, I thought to take you guys with me out into the backyard of my fiance's place, Naga, to get some um, ghost pipe, or what, you, what other people call Indian ghost pipe, or Indian pipe. Um, he has like quite a few around here. Um, let me see if I can show you guys around. Oh my god, I can. So he has some in this leaf pile. And I'm going to be harvesting most of it just because he's not going to do anything about it. There's some right there. And... Um... I'm going to guess that people in Indiana, which is where he lives, um, you know, there are quite a few piles, and it's like really easy for them to get it because of how humid it is here, but also because, you know, I guess for at least Naga, he has a crap load of leaves, even like all over there, and other places, so, yeah, I do know that in some places though, um, it is a very rare plant. It's not a fungus or a mushroom, I've heard it also. But it's a very rare plant. And I felt bad harvesting quite a bit from his yard. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't because he's, you know, it's just here in his yard and he doesn't care about them really and this is actually a bundle or a pile that he's going to be like demolishing demo demolish i don't know how you say it <laughs> but he's going to be getting rid of this pile sooner or later so i might as well just pick it up but while i am going to be harvesting them i'm not going to take the root um because the root part is what will help them to grow back. Um, so maybe the next time I come back out here, he'll still have some and they'll be regrown because they are perennials. So, yeah, I thought to take you guys with me to pluck some. <coughs> I'm gonna set you guys down. Not sure if you guys can have a good view, but just going to take the knife and cut them off. It's best to do a clean cut, I figured out, but if you can't, that's okay. Just don't take a lot of the root. That's not a good thing to do, especially if you would want this plant to come back. Now as I'm picking this, this plant is amazing for medicinal uses. If you want to go homeopathic um, or more natural with your um, medicines and things like that, this is the best way to do it. Um, it's even better than aspirin and you what you do is you make it into a tincture which is what I'm going to be doing with my beloved um, oh, there's actually a lot more here than I originally thought but we're going to be making it into a tincture because um, my mom she suffers from chronic pain Oh god, that was a really long piece. I'm gonna go just take that. 
Um, but yeah, she suffers from chronic pain. And, you know, I thought this would really help her. She's even more further down. Let me show you guys. Whoopsie. Wave. Okay, there's even more further down in here. But I'm not going to take that part. I'm actually just going to cover it back up. Since it doesn't actually like the sunlight, I've heard. But. Yep. We're just going to get that. I'm not sure if I want to take the other ones over here. I mean, I guess I could. Um, probably not the one over there, but there's definitely some right here. Uh, I won't take the whole thing. sure if I can, um, do so. Um, see, where was I? I completely forgot what the heck I was really talking about, other than this plant. Um, oh yeah, so, I think, I think I know where I left off. Um, oh, there's even more in here. We're just gonna leave it like that for right now. So, this habitat is not too ruined. But, yep, so we're we'll be taking this. Now, when you're wanting to make it into a tincture, um, you can use, if you don't, I don't know why I keep doing that, if you don't want to use um, vodka, I just realized I lost my selfie stick. <laughs> But if you don't want to use vodka um, or Everclear, you can use, I think, 100% vegetable glycerin, um, which I've heard will also give it like a sweet taste. Um, you can use vinegar to make a tincture as well. Um, so, yeah. And what a good friend of mine suggests with this, if you pluck it, and you don't want to use it right away, or you don't have the equipment right away to um, get it going in making the tincture, freeze it. It will actually slow the process, and it works really well. Um, because the batch from here was actually from about two days ago, and they're still pretty okay. Sounds like it's going to rain again, too. Um, so, yeah, I hope I don't slide. <laughs> oh, okay, I did it. Whew. So, yeah, um, let's see, anything else? Oh, so I have heard multiple things where um, you can take the whole root of this or use the whole plant. I don't suggest using the whole like taking the root out because this is a very rare plant in some places and you don't want to um, you know make it to where it can't come back no more because that would really suck um but yeah i um did i tell you guys that it's also really good for physical and emotional pain <laughs> um I don't know, I'm trying to find some facts right here before I turn it off and go inside and freeze it. Um, some other things about it is also the fact that the liquid's on it. Um, oh, there's a little spider on it! Oh, how cute! I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> but the liquid's from the, um, the plant. Um, is actually like antibacterial, I think. It's something bacterial, something. But it is really good for um, if you have eye problems, just put the liquid on it, or if you have any other type of problem, you can do that too. It's really good plant for, you know, during the apocalypse <laughs> or when things go bad. So, ow, I almost cut myself. Not good. But, yeah.
So I will let you all go for right now so I can place this in my fridge, um, my fiance's fridge. And then I'll show you the process of us making it into a picture. Okay, so we ended up going to the store and trying to find some Everclear or some vodka. Um, but I did find some cheesecloth. We did find some preserving jars, which Naga <laughs> was wondering what the heck I was doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got the preserving jars. We got four of them. And then I also got some birthday candles because I wanted to make it like a little gift. Um, and you'll see that later on.
So now that they're like this, they have to basically like ferment <laughs> in a sense. Um, or, you know, they have to be left over for like three to six weeks for it to actually turn into a full fledged tincture. not gonna help me. So they are all closed and I even have information on this. Big old white letters on the 